I'm Peter Block here in Chile, Chicago for the AH annual meeting for On the Scene. With me on my left is Aribet Schunkert from the Deutsches Health Centrum in Munich. And we're talking about the TICAB trial. So, Aribet, tell me about the TICAB trial. What is it to start with? I know it has to do with coronary artery bypass grafting and the problem with saphenous vein graft patency. So, what's the trial? Yeah, one thing to prevent graft failure is in antiplatelet therapy and it's still under debate what the optimal antiplatelet therapy in the year following bypass grafting might be. The standard is aspirin as, as you know but the question is whether more intensive antiplatelet therapy can do a better job in preventing graft failure and lowering adverse events in the first year after surgery. Okay, so it was a randomized trial. You Random. randomized ticagrelor against Aspirin and clopidogrel, or just aspirin alone? Monotherapy. Okay. Monotherapy of aspirin and ticagrelor was a blinded study, randomized, uh, placebo-controlled, uh, and it r was run in three countries and 26 centers in Europe. Okay. So any other antiplatelet therapy was not used? No. But uh, aspirin, or the study medication, mm -hmm. was started within six hours after bypass surgery, at least during the first 24 hours that was mandatory, uh, and was kept for one year uh, and was monitored for any adverse events and bleeding. Okay, I'm going to skip to the end. What did you find? Well, it was a, ended up to be a neutral study in that Tachecolor didn't do any better than aspirin. Uh, we originally wanted to include 3,850 patients. We ended up to include 1,850 patients, so about half the number. Uh, the Data Safety Monitoring Board told us to stop the trial for fertility. So there was no difference seen in the, by one year? Not in the right direction anyway, so the event rate was lower than expected. The primary uh, endpoint was a composite of cardiovascular death myocardial infarction, stroke, and repeat revascularization. And that occurred in 8.2% in the aspirin arm and 9.7% in the tachecular arm. So essentially no statistical significance between those two. No, and no hope that with doubling the number, we could end up to have a positive trial telling us that tachecular might be any better. Okay. So tell me something uh, for all the folks out there. Uh, what's, your, what's the message they should take from this? Well, monotherapy is best with aspirin. No other drug has been proven to do any better than aspirin monotherapy in patients after bypass surgery. The question is how to fine-tune antiplatelet therapy. We learned in this trial and other trials that the most events occur during the first four weeks. Right. And the question is what is the optimal treatment in this critical time frame? And that might be dual antiplatelet therapy, and then the question is, what is the best agent to combine with aspirin? So there you have it, folks. Uh, we haven't really gotten into how to keep saphenous vein grafts from closing early on. Ticagrelor doesn't seem to be the answer, and maybe some further answers will be forthcoming, but for now, sounds like aspirin is still the best drug. That's right. Thank you, everybody. You're welcome.